ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for play, uh, coming and see in Franchise Chess, playing another game online. Um, we're we're going to take on an opponent uh, at random, whatever chess.com throws our way. Ten minute uh, on each side, live on the board. Um, I'm going to play. It looks like I'm going to be black, so we'll see what happens here. Playing against somebody who's rated 1762. Uh, I'm still building up my rating, 1757. Uh, still nowhere near where my original V Day rating was, but that's another story for another time. It looks like my opponent's going to abort. Because nothing is happening. Maybe they're deciding what they want to play. minute now. Auto abort in 30 something seconds. That's sad. Wanted an opportunity to play this person. Oh, finally! King Pawn opening! Well, that was really delayed. So let's just go ahead and match that energy today. Playing symmetry right now. What's going to happen? Knight to f3 is the most common move played by anybody. And of course, knight to c6. We're going to go ahead and protect this pawn. Um, the Spanish, or it looks like the Italian game, is what's coming my way today. Well, let's just play the two knights defense. See if he'll try to fry the liver me. Or if we're going to get hit with d4. Or are you going to play a slower version? Just play d3, c3. Ah, fried liver. Oh man. Whatever should I do? How about we just play into it a little bit and see what happens today? See what happens when they capture here? And most of the time, in most scenarios, people recapture this way. But let's play with his head a little bit. Let's see what happens if we. Shut the pawn at him. Because if he captures, hmm, probably not my best one, but still. Captures, we could capture this way, we could capture this way. Of course, we capture with the uh, queen so that we can protect the knight and attack the bishop as well as the pawn on g2. That's a juicy move that I've come up with here. That was a little bit more to it than I thought. I really was just trying to deflect. But hey, yeah, that idea actually does work. And he retreats to the home square. That's very, very different. So always move forward or at least attempt to Queen still has eyes right here on the D5 bomb right now we've given up uh, yes and another protector here on the bomb but we've given up a little bit of material but we're trying to win that back and gain initiative now this is just a lonely knight sitting there handsome little fella out there all by himself former fried liver guy and C3 is coming, bam, almost like as if it was a Ponziani going on. But you know what? Uh, I'm in a very spicy mood. What if I just took the pawn here on D5? You'd have your your knight hang. Yeah, let's do that. Go ahead. If you want to capture my knight, I'll capture yours. Spicy. Ooh, and you did it. You you went for that. Okay. Let's see. Is that really the best way to look over everything? Real. Always double check all your moves before you make it. Go ahead and make that move right there. Make sure there's not something else that could pop up. Uh, of course, developing the pawn, which blocks in a bishop, but attacks my queen. Oh, whatever will I do? Let's see if that's going to be the move played here. This is exciting. 
playing a little loose today. Loose pieces, loose ideas. Oh yeah. Definitely different. Look at all the development for black. White has nothing developed, not at all. All the home pieces are on the home squares except one pawn. And it's doubled. Yeah. No wonder my opponent's a few minutes down on the clock already. Now, let's tell him what we've done. Whew. I was like, oh no, I'm not cheating. I'm not looking to know something telling me what move to do next. I don't know why. I'm just a little tired, you guys. That's okay. It's 7.48 in the morning. I'm a third shifter. Got to bear with me. Continue to cash in on the easy money this guy's given. Let's go. What are you going to play? After all that, you come all the way back to check me. After all that. I'm not really threatened by your move. And I don't even need a castle. Because I got enough activity. Almost like playing a Berlin. What if I just move my king over? Oh, king safety. You know, it's very important. Now I can use the side of my bishop down here. Create some problems for you. A mating threat if I want to. I can do the exact same thing with my knight. Which would also, if they push this pawn, would give me a block. Yeah, let's do that. And if the pawn comes forward, if I wanted to, the bishop could come. Oh, queen. A little bit. Yeah, hanging. Hanging is my rook. Oh no. Whatever should I do? But you missed a move. Because I also have. This. Does that work? That does work. Check. Alright, so. Hey, queen takes, bishop takes. That's not going to happen. Uh, well, then you, then you think the whole move out. Thanks a lot, buddy. If you had to capture this way, then I could push the pawn and I could capture the bishop. And I mean, a whole lot of things could happen. Let's, do, let's go with the pawn push anyway. Stick with that. Now the bishop's hanging. Whatever will you do, man? This is a spicy position. I got pawns hanging. You know, if it just one move away of being in the wrong spot, it can be mate. He ca captures the pawn. Okay, and what wants to drop the queen down? Makes sense, but you know, your bishop's gone, and that might have been a pre-move. I'm not sure because my rook was hanging, and, but. Go ahead and save that piece. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I think that was a pre-move because it was logical to just go and snatch off the rook. Um, my opponent's just going to start developing. I am behind on my development now. I wonder I was making fun of their development a minute ago. Let's, let's get back over here to safety and get back on point. Let's get back to uh, trying to make the king. Yep, yeah, still got my knight hanging. Trying to open up the king. They're trying not to let me open up the king. But I feel like that's not fair. Come on. Let's do what you gotta do. What do you got? Oh, and look, look at this. Finally, you wanna take you wanna take my knight. After all this work, you wanna take my knight. Such such a mean situation. So you know what? Not even gonna take it. Let's be disrespectful. Develop my bishop. Attacking the pawn on h2 because this is going to fall. The queen hits it, and then boom, that's mate next. I can also bring my uh, if, if he has any way of protecting or whatever that stops their bishop from uh, coming to the f4 square and attacking and being developed in a good square, as well as being a defensive piece. And this will allow me to get my uh, rook to the e8 square to put pressure on this queen if necessary. We'll see where this game's going, we'll see where it goes. 
am I going to need to do all that? Both my bishops are lined up very well in front of the, on the two pawns in front of the king. That's 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 an annoying move. Yeah. So we're gonna annoy right back. You ain't gonna let me do what I wanna do? You can't stay there. Probably gonna move his king and his queen here. Try to initiate some type of trade. We'll see. Nope. All the way defensive. And that would have been that was a killer move right there because Bishop comes in. Now let's see, let's see why did he resign, you guys? Why did he resign? Here's why. Because the bishop takes bam. One of these are gonna fall. And once once one of them snatches off and falls, this is gonna be available very soon after because we'll just say boom. And we'll just say the queen goes here to protect maybe I'm, just, I'm not really sure if that would be the best move um, we don't have to take this way if we don't want to we can then put the bishop right here on the g4 square and just keep attacking the queen we don't this the options are ours and that yeah uh, it was resignable a minute ago let's go ahead and do an analysis uh, of the game see what we get out of it uh, what's it? Game review I need to go to and do it again? Alright, game review. Oh, oh yeah. Try for you, no thanks. Uh, that's some inaccuracies there. Yeah, four of them. Well, let's see how. Yeah, let's see where. I was playing a little bit spicier. It'd be nice. Yeah, and then. Yeah, this is already. They don't like the fried liver. He's like. Terrible. Then, I mean, I said it up front that it was going to be an inaccuracy. It was just going to be a, a spicy move, but that was a bad move. But how, how much behind did I go? Man, it's really only a half a pawn difference. 0.47. That's a little strange. Okay, but then when he goes back, it went in my favor. And coming forward, I gave the initiative back. Looks like to white. Yeah, and that move actually surprisingly didn't move the needle at all. See, plus still almost a whole pawn in White's favor. Makes it good over like that. Uh, King to d8, but White even more in the drivers. I don't know. I feel more comfortable here with Black here. I think this is that Black just plays better because it's more fluid. Help me out, almost reverse the whole pawn. And then uh, I played it to give him more to white. This here is it, good attacking ideas. I mean, I know I'm hanging a rook there if I want. But he can't capture, and if the queen captures, then bishop captures, and he can't recapture because of the queen there. So that's why I had to move the rook. I mean, that's why I had to move the king. And it makes perfect sense. I wasn't, I just glossed over that earlier. Um, the fact that the pawn was pinned to the king. I don't know why I did. That's the reason why I set it up in the first place. But uh, then this pawn push. But that bishop was annoying. Got it off the board. And that didn't move the needle either. I really didn't even have an advantage. So this move right here. But what the computer sounded you know, saying, and then that move was really a big deal. What would have been the better move here though? That's a good question. They went through the one. Like I thought to hear. Smack. 
the evaluation bar says, yes, you are winning by a lot. Thank you very much, Captain Obvious. Anyway, thank you for tuning in to another game. Uh, this game was pretty much against the fried liver. So, thank you for coming to Franchise Chess and learning with me.